بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو چلڈرن دس از یور سائنس کلاس اینڈ آئی ایم یور سبجیکٹ ٹیچر دس از یور لیکچر نمبر تھرٹی ون اوپن یور بکس آف سائنس دس از یور بک پرائمری سائنس لیول تھری and then open page number 60 unit 12 force we are going to read this chapter first then i will explain you or with the reading i will explain you what is written here all of you know that what is the force by force you can do anything when you hold something you are exerting force when you push something or pull something or when you play football or any other game you <clears throat> exert a force on the bat or on the ball to play so force in all our, our life you are facing the force with you let's start reading all of your life forces have been acting on you even though you probably do not notice every time you move something use your pencil or walk you are using force look when you walk it means you are using the force where when you move your feet one step and then another step you are exerting force on your feet that's why you move on the ground use your pencil when you are writing you exert a force on pencil or a pen to write on the notebook or you walk you are using force now let's see what is force forces are pushes and pulls as i told you when you push something suppose when you are writing you are pushing your pencil on the notebook so that's why you can write or when you pull something when you hold something your book your notebooks your pencil you take it in your hands then it means you are pulling something okay let's see for example when you do homework you exert a force on your pen or pencil because you push and pull it across the paper <clears throat> there are many kinds of forces the wind running water and gravity are all natural forces the wind wind also has a power very great power very great force wind can exert by wind you can say by a wind's force the leaves of the trees can move sometimes it moves very quickly and sometimes winds are so strong that they exert a lot of force even the sign boards or sometimes the windows of the buildings they fell down running water same like the wind running water also exert a lot of force when it moves from one place to another sometimes if the water's speed it's so high then it can move one thing from one place to another and gravity what is gravity i will tell you uh, on the next step just think that gravity is the force natural force also a natural force or the force of earth the an invisible force i will tell you forces can also be produced by people animal and machines as you can know that like this man he is using the force to move this thing maybe the rock <clears throat> animals also exert forces and machines as well okay now what can a force do force can do anything forces can cause objects to change shape if you hit something with your full force if you hit the stone with the force on the glass then it will break so the shape of the mirror or the glass will change look at this picture this car by force hit some place or another car and look what happened to this car so force can change the shape look the shape of the car has been changed because of the force because the uh, force 
by force car hit something. So that's why its shape is changed now. Okay. Okay, I'm telling you about the gravity. Look, what is gravity? An invisible force of earth. You are standing on the ground. How you can stand here? Because there is an invisible force which holds you on the ground to stand. When you throw something like this ball, when you throw the ball, why it fell down? Because an invisible force, which is called, we call it gravity. It pulls the thing towards it. The force of, because of the force of gravity, the ball goes down because gravity pulls it towards the earth, towards the ground. You can see this, this is the ground. Or when the fruits fell down on the ground, how? Because of the gravity. Look, gravity pulls everything downwards. There is a force, invisible force. We cannot see this force. We can see the force of wind, that how wind moving the different things, and we can see the force of water. But the gravity, we cannot see, but there is a force. This is gravity, understand? Gravity is an invisible force. In our question answer, inshallah, I will explain again. When you write the answer, then you know that what is the gravity, okay? Let's move on the next page, page number 61. Okay, on first page, you have seen that forces can change the shape of anything. Now the next is forces change the way things move. Way things move mean when this boy exerting a little force on the paddles of the bicycle, then it moves slowly. When it exerts a lot of force on the pedals, then the bicycle moves quickly, very fast. So it means by force, it can change the way things move, slow and then faster. Forces can cause objects to speed up. Forces can cause objects to move in a new direction. How? Look, read this, then I will explain. Forces can cause objects to slow down. How slow down? When your father or when you are driving the car, you are exerting force on the accelerator or on the brakes. When you push the brake, then your cars become slowing down. And when you push the accelerator, it moves quickly. And when you try to take a turn in a car, then you exert a four on the steering by which you are driving the car. You, If you want to take a turn on left side, then you move your steering towards right and then towards left. So you can change the direction of the car by exerting force. So when a driver pushes on the brakes of a moving car, it slows down. How? Because of the friction. And now what is friction? The force present when two surfaces or two things rub together. Look, the tires and the road. When they exert a force on the brake, then the two things rub together and become slows down. What is friction? The force present when two surface things rub together, slows down moving objects. Forces can cause objects to start moving or come to a stop, okay? Slows down or forces can cause objects to start moving or come to a stop. As I told you, when you exert a force on the accelerator, then start cars, start moving, and then when you push the brakes, then it stops. <clears throat> Understand children about the forces? Forces can do many things or you can say anything with the force, with the power. Force is you can say the power. With the force, you can write. With force, you move 
with the force you eat, even you exert a force on your spoon, then take it towards your mouth, then you are exerting force on the spoon. Understand children? So everywhere in our life, in our daily life, everything what you are doing, you are exerting force on something. Even when you are watching the laptop, you are listening the lecture, and when you try to write something, then you have to hold something. Or when you push the button of next button, then you exert a force on the button. That's why the picture is changed. So everywhere around you, you can see the examples of exerting force. Sometimes something you're pushing, some pullings, when you're playing, when you're fighting with your siblings, when you're running, when you're opening the door, when you're closing the door, every time you're using force, force of your body. And this force is, comes from the energy and energy comes from the food. So understand children. That's why you should eat good and healthy food. And then you have a lot of energy and then you have a lot of force and you can win the games. You can win different in fighting with your siblings. You will win if you have a force, but try to live happily with your family. Don't fight, not even with your friends and not even with your siblings with your brothers and sisters always be friendly with your brothers and sisters okay children <clears throat> this unit is about the force and look i'm telling you about here we read about the friction okay between the two surfaces i explain you here look how friction works as i told you Heel rolls forward, push on the wheel. When you push the brakes, then friction resists sliding. These wheels become slowed down and then rub with the road and then cars slows down like this. Look, the, this is the very, this is very heavy box and there is on the floor, this man is trying to move it, but friction forces stops it. It makes it difficult for him to move because of the force of friction. If you put it on some wheel, then you can move it easily because with the wheel, the friction is less. This is friction force between the two surfaces when they rub together there is a friction force which can slows down the things. Okay, good. Now we have, okay, this uh, two lines are here, two lines are here. A force can cause moving objects to speed up, slow down, change direction or stop. It can also make an object move or change shape. Understand, a force can cause moving object to speed up, slow down, change direction, or stop. It can also make an object move or change shape. Look what is written here in this yellow part. An invisible force called gravity. Look, it's about the gravity. Pulls everything down towards the earth. This is why when you let something go, it falls down. So what is gravity? You can say the gravity is the force of earth. Okay, children, now then we have our exercise. Answer the following questions. What is a force? List three different types of forces. Okay. You have to write these question answers in your notebooks. What is a force? Force is an energy which changes or tends to change, means try to change. The state of rest means the position of rest or uniform motion of a body. Understand? It's an energy which changes or tries to change. The state of rest means something is a stop or uniform motion of a body. List three different types of forces. Remember on the first page, the wind, running water, and gravitational force are types of force. 
What can a force do? A force can change the shape, speed, and direction of a moving body. Okay, objects do not fly up, move backward or forward, but fall down when you let go of them. Why? An invisible force. Again, because of gravity, an invisible force called gravity pulls everything down towards the earth. This is why when we let something go, it falls down. <clears throat> Understand children, these question answers? I hope you understood. You have to write these in your notebooks. Now we have this question number two. The effect of forces are all around us. The following paragraph shows some of the effect of forces in our daily life. Underline the words that show these effects, okay? Sarah and Usman were waiting for ripe mangoes to drop. When Sarah saw a big ripe mango fall, okay, let's see where we have an example of force, drop, because mango to drop means here the force work. When Sarah saw a big ripe mango fall, she ran, ran exerting force towards it. Usman appeared from behind and pushed Sarah away. Here the push is an example of force. He picked up the mango, picked up, again an example of exerting force, just as he lifted it, lifted to his mouth, Sarah pulled the mango right out of his hand and ran away. These are examples of force, exerting the force. Okay, underline this in your books. Now fill in the blank using the correct words, phrases from the brackets. Dash is a natural force, wind or electricity. What do you think? Electricity is made by the man. So electricity is not the natural force. Natural force means the things which are made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We find them naturally, not artificially. Electricity is an artificial thing. So wind is a natural force. This word wind you write here in this blank. A horse cart is moving due to force pulled by the horse cart. Do you know what is horse cart? So who is pulling the force in the car? Where is the force, in cart or horse? Yes, horse exerting the force on the cart and then move. So we write here, horse. The force of gravity keep everything firmly dash on the ground or in the air? What do you think, force of gravity? I told you this is the force of the earth which keeps everything on the ground. So keeps everything firmly on the ground. Write this and this blank. Okay, Charan? Very interesting and easy unit force. I hope you all enjoyed and understood. Now it's your homework that you have to write the question answers in your notebooks and these things in your book. Fill in the blanks and this paragraph underline. Okay? Okay, that's all for today. Inshallah, we'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much.